Please excuse the bangs, I just got off my horse. Hi guys, it's Zoe Berg. Today I am packing for my very first ever out of state show. I'm going to Thermal. I'm so freaking excited. Um, I've never packed for an out of state show and I think it's a little bit different than packing for an in state show because usually I take my own trailer, I can just kind of throw stuff in there, pull it out make multiple trips, whatever. This time it is a 20 hour drive, so it'll take two days and I will be with other people, so I really have to pack accordingly. So I'm going to try and pack light um, and take you guys through that and kind of show you what I bring along with me. So let's get into it. So my goal here is to fit everything that I'm taking into these two large tack trunks. That way I know where everything is um, and I know how to put everything back when I'm ready to leave. First, I wanted to start off with all the stuff that we will need for his stall and his living space. So I'm gonna start off with this fan. Sometimes blinds get stuffy, so I always like to bring a fan no matter what workshop I'm going to. At least I have it. And when I give him a bath, it makes him dry way faster if I can have this just blowing in his stall. So I'm gonna start with this, stick it in like that. Then some other important things that I have for the stall is a salt block. I always bring zip ties and I always bring a whole bunch of hooks because you can never have too many hooks, I promise. <laughs> I also bring in some stall cross ties that look like this. And of course, we will need some water buckets. I always bring three water buckets. Right now, I only have two. I need to go buy another one because I broke my third one. Oops. Next up is just basic horse care. So I'm going to bring some stable sheets. I'm going to bring his light blanket. I am probably going to bring his medium. Not really sure yet. I'm going to wait to see kind of what the weather trend is going to do. But definitely this and a lightweight and a cooler. I'm also going to be bringing my stand Wraps. I tend to bring two sets of these guys just in case they rip, so I have those in here. I'm also going to be bringing my lunge line as well as my stall guard. So in this pack trunk, I'm going to be packing all of my horse's grain. So I'm packing 17 days worth of grain because that's how long we're gone, including the trailer rides both ways. I also pack his smart packs. I keep my horses on colic care smart packs. These are great. If they ever colic, you have $10,000 in insurance. I highly recommend. I also pack GastroGuard for shows because trailering and stuff can be really stressful on horses. And this last pack of ulcer guard is not actually ulcer guard this is going to be my little emergency vet kit i'm really hoping that i don't have to open this if you're thinking about using meds make sure to check with the rule book and your vet for how much you can give your horse legally for horse showing and last i'm going to use my reused sheen bag worth of rags into this and close it up and i'm ready to put that in my tack trunk so now that I've organized all that stuff, I need to pack it in my tack trunk. This is all going to be a very tight squeeze. I really have to strategically pack this, but it all ends up working out, which is great. This is my lovely show pad trash bag. Um, I keep all of my show pads in this. I keep them squeaky clean and just wrap them up really tight. And it keeps them nice, fresh, white, flat. It's great. Um, so to get ready for the show, I'm gonna also stick Spring's lovely belly band in here. His coat is currently changing. He's starting to shed out, so it's just getting thin. So I like having this to prevent rubs. And then last, I'm gonna stick his half pad in there. Um, this is a Mattis half pad. I love them. You can shim them any which direction. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna stick this in there and that can go in the trunk. I'm also sticking my schooling pad in this trunk and now it's time to close it. And that was a bit of a struggle, but we did it. So go us. <laughs> Now we are on to tack trunk number two. To start, I'm just gonna stick my standing wraps in there as well as my buckets. So the leg protection is where I get a little crazy. I have a lot of leg protection. This is only the stuff I'm packing. I have a lot more. It's kind of like a problem. Anyway, without further ado. For flatting, I really love these Saratoga polo wraps. They are great. They're a little elastic, so they're super supportive. And of course, I always use bell boots. Um, spring really needs bell boots. I like the ones with the fuzzy tops and the cheapest and best ones I find are the Arma Carbon ones. Other leg protection I have by Arma Carbon are these amazing tendon boots. I have the fuzzy pair. I have a pair of just regular ones. These are a couple years old. I love them. I can stick them in the washing machine and they come out just fine. So this is the first pair of tendon boots I have. <laughs> And then these are my regular tendon boots that aren't fuzzy. These are Zandonas. I adore Zandona tendon boots. I get them for myself every Black Friday. So I highly recommend Zandona tendon boots. With that for jumping, I really like having back boots. I use the brand Premier Equine England. This is a super cheap, super durable brand. I hate Velcro straps. So these have the incredible loops. Um, I can't say enough good things about these. I also have another pair of Premier Equine England back boots and these guys are brown. So of course I had to buy matching Zandona brown tendon boots because sometimes I just want to be fancy and I want to have my brown tag, okay? 
Um, anyway, so yeah, that is all my leg protection. I like to organize everything in bags. So my leg protection are all in bags and this is what it looks like. And then here's my leg care. I use Magic Cushion Hoof Pack. This stuff is great. It keeps the swelling down and the heat down in your horse's legs. I use Ice Tight Poultice. I've had multiple horses react really bad to liniments that I've used. So now I only use non-medicated poultices and this is my favorite brand. And then with all that, I just bring gloves and tape in case I need it. And then my clippers are going in with that. So next I'm going to pack some of my grooming supplies. Usually I just pack it in a little bag like this. I always take a curry comb, I take a stiff brush, and I take a soft brush. And then of course I take my horse's hairbrush, some detangler. I always buy my horse human stuff, not horse stuff, because it's the same. Of course, I always bring my hoof pick. I love this ultimate hoof pick. And then in this front pocket here, I always bring my earplugs. I bring Thrush Buster just in case, a pair of scissors, and I always bring my main pulling comb. This is great for braiding, as well as braiding bands. And then just in case, I bring a Sharpie and an extra chain. So I always just like to stick that in there. So next up is my bathing stuff. I usually bring two bottles of shampoo and a bottle of conditioner. I also always like to bring some leave-in conditioner. This stuff is really good. I actually use it in my hair too. And then of course I always bring my lovely SPF 100 because I am literally translucent. I always bring some hoof dressing. This is really good before you bathe. Um, you just lather it on, just protects their hooves from that extra moisture. And of course a squeegee and a lovely tiger's tongue sponge. I adore these things. I'm dropping everything. They dry super fast and they just are very good. I also like to bring two buckets just in case, just to keep myself organized. So I'll just stick everything in here. And those are my bathing buckets. I also tend to use these buckets for tack cleaning as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pack my bridal bag. I need to clean all of this and stick it in here. So the tack cleaner that I use is the Horseman's One Step Leather Cream Conditioner. Um, I really love this stuff. It makes my tack look great, it makes it feel great, it makes it last forever. So I highly recommend the Horseman's One Step. Okay, now that my bridles and stuff are all clean, I'm going to put all of this in a bridal bag. I personally, for shows, like to put everything in bags and bins and just keep it super organized. I'm super ADHD, so organization is a huge thing for me. So I'm gonna start with my lovely drawings. I'm um, just gonna roll these up super quick. I don't tend to use drawings very often, but sometimes I need them for safety reasons because I love my horse, but he can be a lot. <laughs> so I just stick my bridles in like this. This is my flatting bridle. It has a loose string snuffle on it. Um, and then my jumping bridle has an elevator. Sometimes I just need a little bit more for jumping. And then I have my breastplate with my running attachment. Okay. And now, both bridles are hanging like that. I'm gonna just tuck them in. Along with my bridles, I like to keep my crop. Oh, come in, okay? Yeah, come on in. Sorry. I'm like awkwardly talking through my back, so just like walking. And I also like to stick my girth in there as well, just so that I know exactly where it is and it's with all the rest of my tacks. Alrighty, and that is that. So I'm gonna go put this in my tack trunk. Okay, so now that I'm done cleaning everything and whatnot, I'm gonna go ahead and pack my tack cleaning stuff. I have this lovely little CWD bag that used to hold all my CWD soaps, but now I'm gonna use it as my little travel tack cleaning bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my horseman's one step. I'm gonna take a little bit of tack conditioner just in case, and I'm gonna take two brand new sponges. So that's it. So there goes my tack cleaners, my boot and helmet bag, and my bridal bag. All right, I can now say that I'm officially all packed and ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. My Instagram is at ZoeBergEQ, and my TikTok is the same as this, which is at ZoeBerg. So please give those um, a follow. Uh, yeah, that would be really appreciated. And again, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.